Hi, my name is Josh Fulkers. I am so excited to be kicking off this week with you as we lead up to this Thursday's National Day of Prayer. Throughout this week, we are going to be talking about the acronym ACTS. ACTS is an opportunity that we don't really know how it started, but it's a great way of us growing closer to God and learning how to spend time with Him. ACTS includes adoration, confession, thanksgiving, supplication, and we are super excited to kick off this week with adoration. Adoration is something where we are able to really just enjoy the wonderful presence of someone. Adoration is often described in the Bible as worship. Worship is something that we are called to only give to God, to no one else, no idols, no person, no one. God is described like a husband who's jealous for his wife's love. He wants her to only love him and no one else. When we worship, we strip away all anxiety, all fear. We are able to give everything up to God because he is so holy and good. Jesus tells us in John 4 that a time is coming when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth and they are the kind of worship the Father seeks. You can begin your prayer of adoration in many different ways. You can begin by just simply saying the things that are wonderful about God. You can spend time in prayer, sharing how much you love God and the things you love about Him. You can turn on worship music, you can journal. Another way that we can do this is by opening our books, maybe to Psalms and praying out the scripture of adoration to God. Spending time praying the wonderful things He has done and the wonderful things He has written. Today, I want to look at a passage from 1 Chronicles. King David, who was a man after God's own heart, was in the process of giving up his throne and the project of building the temple of the Lord to his son Solomon. King David had wanted to build the temple and wanted to keep reigning, but he had been told by God what he was supposed to do. I would imagine David would be filled with anxious thoughts like, will Solomon do a good job? Will he run the country the way I did? Will he look at the notes I left for him? But instead of being absorbed in all these anxious ideas, David approaches God with adoration. 1 Chronicles 29, 10-14 says, David praised the Lord in the presence of the whole assembly, saying, Praise be to you, Lord, the God of our father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power, the glory and the majesty and the splendor, for everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted over all of it. Wealth and honor come from you, and you are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and give strength to all. Now, O God, we give you thanks and praise your glorious name. Today, you may be overwhelmed, filled with thoughts of worry and anxiety over your needs, your wants, and different things going on, or maybe even the residue of worshiping something other than God. Instead of feeling all those things, approach our God with honesty and simply just praise Him for who He is. Take a look back over to the verse we talked about, 1 Chronicles 29, 10-14, and take some time to see the words David wrote down about God, and pray those back to God in an adoration of who He is. Thank you so much for joining us today. Make sure you check out our video tomorrow on confession.